hello friends and uh, welcome to the second video of uh, building the model and this is of the breast cancer diagnostic which you have seen and uh, just to show you that uh, we imported the libraries we loaded the data then we have explored the data seen the shape 569 and 33 columns we've seen the description of it then we have uh, plotted it at the same time then we've removed any kind of multicollinearity we have dropped the columns having multicollinearity and we have again seen this uh, graph through this uh, heat map that correlation graph matrix that now we don't have much correlation so our model can be built now so now we come to building a model and what we do is now for building the model we have to first separate the x and y in x we've got all the columns except the target one and in y we will get this target so this is how we drop diagnosis and in y we have this diagnosis and then what will i do i will perform this train test split i will split this set and from sk11 i will import train test splitter then i will divide my data set into x train x test y train and y test i will perform test size i give 0.3 which is the standard size you can give any and random state is 40 okay anything you can give then we will do some feature scaling now this is scaling is done to bring all the values into some um, you know standard this thing uh, so i get all the values to the same magnitude that's why i'm using this scaling so i'm using standard scalar here and i'm fitting my x train and x test on it so this is the code for this i fit transform this x train and x test so once you build this test size what happens is your data gets split into x, x test uh, so training data is your 70 percent and testing data is 30 percent next let's come to model building and finding out the best one so we will fit it in various models and we'll see how how each model performs so now first is the logistic regression so for logistic regression we've got uh, this is again a classification algorithm and uh, from sklearn we will import this logistic regression i have created one object lr for this then in model fit this model and what we will fit in this x train and y train okay i'll make the predictions and for predictions in this object i will again predict this x test i'm predicting the x test now from sklearn i will import a matrix that is confusion matrix and this is for classification problems as you've seen in the previous video the theory part of it now the confusion matrix i will plot off the x y test and the prediction one that means on x test so that i can compare as if how many are true and how many are false and how my algorithm is performing so now you look at this matrix it is 110 and this is true positive okay that means my algorithm is predicting 110 cases rightly okay correctly identify cases this 5 is false positive that means these are the incorrectly identified cases 5 cases are incorrectly identified 2 is false negative and this is false negative that means this is incorrectly rejected 2 cases are incorrectly rejected and 54 cases are correctly rejected by my algorithm and if you want to draw this confusion matrix this is how you draw it and you can save it also so this is the confusion matrix true positive true negative false positive false negative okay now i will go to accuracy how do you find the accuracy of this it is the total positive divided by all the instances so we've got 110 this is 110 plus 54 gives you 164 divided by 110 plus 5 plus 2 plus 54 which is 171 so 164 divided by 171 will give me 0 0.959 this is the accuracy of logistic regression algorithm which is giving me now what i do is 
I import this accuracy score and I will predict it on Y test because it's a testing data. Let's see how it performs on the unknown data. So this is again giving me 95% the same accuracy that is it is performing well enough. Let's see what happens with the decision tree model. Decision tree model again I do the same thing from SK learn I have this tree package wherein I am importing the decision tree classifier. After this, what I do is I create an object for this classifier. I built model. I fit my X train and Y train and I predict this model on X test. Then I build the confusion metrics on the Y test and prediction. Okay. And this is what I'm getting. So it is just classifying 105 predictions. Previously was 110. So definitely the accuracy would come down. And as you can see here, the accuracy is only 90%. So decision tree is not so good model for this. Let's see random forest again from ensemble. I will import random forest classifier. I'll build an object for this RFC for model three. I have fitted this model on X train and Y train. I will predict this model on X test and then I will print the confusion metrics for Y test and predictions. Okay, here they are 108 cases which are correctly classified or correctly identified by my algorithm. And 51 are being correctly incorrect correctly rejected okay so for this the accuracy is greater than the decision tree which is 92 percent okay now what you do is you also print the classification report for this so classification report I will print it for this y test and prediction too similarly you can do it for other predictions also which we will see now for this I get the precision as 96 that means they are correctly identified cases precision it gives me and the recall this is called two positive rate which is which means that this is giving me what this is giving me mixed positive predictions this is because this is recall is true positive upon true positive plus false negative that means it will it is giving me the, uh, the idea about my algorithm how is it performing how well is it classifying the positive instances and negative instances okay and is it correctly rejecting the data also and precision is just telling me about the positive predictions how many positive predictions it has made irrespective of the uh, rejection whether it has it had to be rejected or it had to be accepted so just the, all the positive predictions about my algorithm it is giving me but here it is also giving me that the rightly rejected cases by my algorithm also okay what it rightly rejects and rightly accepts so recall is very important in healthcare sector okay so this is just 0.94 recall I would like to see higher recall in here so for benign I have 0.94 and for um, malignant I have got 0.91 that means for 0.91 cases are correctly identified rejected so I get the true positive rate from this figure and F1 score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall right so now I can also print the classification report of the above two predictions of um, logistic regression and decision tree so here you can see this is 0.96 for both it is greater for uh, logistic regression anyways and for decision tree it is less okay right so now let's come to another way of uh, it's a short way of uh, of building a model in a form of an array so we'll see KNN support vector machine and net bias in this so what I do is from SK loan I will import all the classifiers K neighbor classifier support vector classifier and Gaussian NV. What I do is I create model list and in this I will append these I'll make an make an object for this and I will create a this classifier. Okay. So the same way that I, that I was doing above I was creating an object for this and the same I'm I'm just appending it in the model. Okay. So this is how I write it. Now from sklearn I will I will import k fold and I will also import cross fold k fold cv. Now, what is this k fold cv? This is k fold is a resampling technique 
and this evaluates the machine learning algorithm okay what what it does it it just divides your data set into training into into k parts whatever i have given this here as n splits that is 10 and the number of split each split is called a fold so there are 10 folds here k fold is 10 it divides your data set into k parts right and cross val is like it, it reshuffles your data and for more details please refer to the theory part of the video now resampling video i have made please refer to that then what you do is in uh, i i i create two arrays okay results and names and in that there's an empty array for for that i create this name and model in models so what the iteration will go on now see k fold i'm giving classifying it as or i'm giving k as 10 and random state i take as 40 in cv results i will take cross file score and scoring i have taken accuracy you can take other also cv is k fold that means it will go fit 10 folds and the random state will be 40 what in my model and x train and y train so this model it will go for each of the models and it will perform the strain test split it will perform the accuracy and it will append the result and give me so in the messages i'm typing that name cv result mean and standard deviation so for knn it is 0 0.90 for nave by it's 90 and for svm is 92 now see among these is svm is performing the best and standard deviation seem to be low of nave bias let's go and uh, make prediction on svm okay so for svm i have taken this svc classifier i'm making prediction on my uh, test data set okay so what happened here is svc dot fit again i'm fitting this this thing on my x train and y train i will make prediction on x test and then i will print the accuracy on my x te y test and predictions classification report is also i want to print on my y test and the predictions and confusion matrix of y test and predictions so see the accuracy is 96 percent highest among up till now we've received and the precision is high 97 percent of benign and 95 percent of uh, the malignant tumor and precision two true cases whether it is uh, precision in healthcare sector is not that much valued as compared to recall because i also want to know the number of cases rightly rejected so this gives you more uh, robust data and here you can see the confusion matrix 112 which is higher than logistic regression also it was 110 this is 112 cases this is 53 correctly identified that's why recall is high and uh, this is three here and three here that means this is three are false positive correct incorrectly identified incorrectly rejected and this is uh, correctly identified and these are 53 are correctly rejected so we see that we are getting the best accuracy this support vector machine which is 96.4 percent and um, up till now so you can go ahead with different models different accuracy and we can boost this performance with the various ADA boost or uh, extra tree classifiers which I have not used in this and maybe we will see it in different uh, analysis so that's all for this video and uh, thank you for watching